Welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm Ryan, and this is The Groom, and we watched Army of the Dead on Netflix, and we actually started watching it on the release date of the 21st, but as this is a very lengthy movie, about two hours, we had to kind of stop at hour one because I had to work in the morning, and then we watched it the next night and finished it all up. On your birthday. On my birthday. Uh... <laughs> The movie is essentially about a quarantine zone of Las Vegas full of zombies that yeah. they... Yeah, like the strip with all the yeah. casinos in it. They have it all blocked out with, with these... Like, like big, shipping containers? Yeah, shipping containers to well, contain them in there until they decide to drop a nuke on it because apparently that's just, you know, what you do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When, when in doubt, just nuke it. Yeah, why not? It's like that in every movie. Look at Indep Independence Day. Hey, let's nuke them up. Let's nuke the mo mothership. Why not? You know, why not? Yeah. No repercussions from <laughs> that at yeah. all. No fallout. There's, there's, yeah, there's no fallout. There's never a thought of that. So, the, the funny thing about this zombie virus is that one of the first signs is your temperature starts to drop which is uh, in stark contrast of the virus that we are experiencing now where your temperature starts to rise. Which I really like that. That was interesting. That was, was funny. A, that was a good, you know. That was a good little jab. It's sad, but... I the, like that. The film centralized around a bunch of characters that were all working together to try to get, you know people out of the zombie danger zone and get them all to safety they helped uh i think they said that scott the the one that dave batista plays he he got a council person out or some person that was of high notoriety and he's approached by a businessman a fancy fancy businessman who wants him to round up a bunch of people to go into the place just infested with zombies to get into one of the casinos into their vaults to get a whole bunch of money out. Like 200 million? It's something crazy like that. Yeah. And promises him, you know, a good reward from it. Hey, you know, you get a cut of it. Just make sure you bring me that money back. And uh, also this dude's going with you who seems really shifty. Who is the dad from Raising Hope. Yeah, that was creepy. That was, it was weird seeing him in that kind of role. Because he kind of had a similar, like, comedy kind of, like, you know, like, S to him that the character in Raising Hope does. It's like, man, this is what the father from Raising Hope turns into in a post-apocalyptic post world. I hope not. I loved his character. Um, and also, while all of this is going on, uh, Scott's daughter is a volunteer who's trying to get refugees out and moved away from the nuke zone they're trying he's trying to reconnect with her and sort of make amends it's it's all a very complicated storyline there's a main storyline and then there's like two other storylines within it which is interesting this movie also like i'm gonna shoot into my likes this has like the one of the best opening scenes ever and it's very very long it's very detailed. It's very, very gory. And it, and, and it, yeah. and it, it ends so well. It does. And it kind of gives a little backstory to each of the characters that are very prominent in the opening. And you get to see them fighting. You get to see them saving people. And it's just like nothing is really held back with the gore, which I can definitely appreciate that. Also... We not only see shambly zombies, but, like, also some zombies that, like, might haunt your dreams. The the running type. The type that World have maybe evolved. Yeah. It made me think a little bit of, like, Land of the Dead. How they were communicating. There was no fireworks. But mm -hmm. it, it was interesting. What did you like about the movie? I, I definitely liked the fact that there were different classes of zom z zombies. You had your traditional walkers, the Monar Grunt, uh, the Shambles. Yeah, those. But you also had like, well, you know, and they referred to them as the as the Alphas. They were the, you know, and they all centricated around like like a king and queen zombie. Um, I like that. But the thing I like the most about this movie, two words, zombie tiger. Yes, that was awesome. Was 
awesome. Um, which is which is which is great because it's one of the tigers you think it is. You think Vegas, you think tigers. It was one of them. It was one of Siegfried and Roy's tigers, and they even say like, "Oh yeah, that's Sieg Siegfried's white tiger." Um, I really, I really like that. I liked I. I liked. I'm a big backstory person. I like that in a movie. I want to know, you know, the road so far, how the characters got here. You know, I want to know why they are the way they are. And I thought this movie did a great job of showing the backstories of certain people, like the guy with the saw. They showed him, like, why he had that saw to begin with, why he uses it. You know, and like I, I love the backstory. The whole opening scene is essentially a backstory of the team. Yeah. And you know, it's. I love getting a little more information, but they did the backstory in such a fun way. It didn't feel like a backstory. I thought it was literally just. I thought it was the movie. And then it like, snaps to present day, and he's a he's a line cook at a burger place, you know. But I really like that about it. I really, I really like that. But like, like I said, all the different zombies were were good. The subplots were amazing. There were there were a bunch of different subplots. You know, his daughter with his daughter with the refugees. The Tanaka's guy that had to come with. He had this little subplot. This girl they called the the coyote had like her own thing it was really cool and they and they kind of tied up everything really good at the end you know you weren't really you know wondering left wondering you know which ties right into my dislike i hate the way this movie ended it was not it was not the ending that i wanted i'm disappointed in Zack snyder for real i really thought he would do a better job with the ending of this like this is coming off the this is coming off the back of the Zack Snyder cut of the Justice League, which everybody was like, that was amazing. It's worth the four hours. Zack Snyder's a genius. This was the next thing he put out. And for 90% of the movie, I was like, oh my God, this guy's a genius. And then the last 10% of the movie, I was like, why did you do that? Yeah. So, like, it didn't ruin the movie for me, but man, I... I felt like... <sighs> Not the ending ending. I liked the, the the final part of it. The final scene is good. But like the the first part that you think is the ending was just like, ah, uh, I no. That's predictable. I was unhappy. I just yeah. I was expecting more. And that that was not it. Yeah. Yeah, it was you really especially out of somebody of Zach's Zack Snyder's caliber, you really expect something better than that, so. Bonus like, I was so happy to see Tig in a movie. She's hilarious. I love her stand-up. So happy. Her, the chopper pilot was so great. Perfect for her. She was that character. Like, I don't know if they wrote that character for her or if she ad-libbed that character, but that, char that character is very similar to her personality of her stand-up like deadpan yeah the deadpan smart ass kind of i oh my god it was so good big fan um other than the way it ended anything else you didn't like about it um, um, um i can't really think of i that's the only like, thing i could think of of course you know not everyone's gonna make it and that's always a sad thing because you you do get like kind of attached to the characters. But you don't want everybody to make. It. Yeah, that's not how that works. Yeah. Like it's not realistic. Not exactly. like a zombie apocalypse really is realistic. But you know, like not everyone's gonna make it in a survival scenario. Mm -hmm. um, Sometimes you have to eat people. <clears throat> yeah. Wait, what? It's eat or be eaten, <laughs> or have a white tiger. <laughs> Tainted meat. <laughs> this is all I figure was Walking Dead. This Tainted was, like, meat. real brutal. Like, I this, was really excited it, about that. I really, for Netflix, I did not think it was going to be this, like, brutal. Oh, I was very surprised. It was. I, I really enjoyed it. It was The the action was really good. You know, Dave Bautista is, is becoming a really good actor. And his, you know, and obviously his days as a pro, pro, as a pro wrestler really helps with his stunts and everything like that. And... 
Um, I just, I just, I really liked this movie, except for the ending. Yeah, the ending, like, meh. What would you rank, rank this? I'd probably give it, like... Ugh, the ending got me, though. Like, I don't know, probably... Like, a four out of five for the rest of it. I had a really good time watching it. I, just the ending, n not... It could have been better. It could have been way better. I am going 4.5 out of 5. And I'm going to tell you why. Wow. The ending was bad. <laughs> but the second ending, I really liked that. Yeah. And that's what saved it from a 4. That's what bumped it that's what bumped it up from a 4 to a 4.5. Had they ended it right after that, what you think is the initial ending? Because after the initial ending, I turned and asked, "Hey, what about?" And then they answered my then they answered my question. So there's a you know that made me that made me bump it up to four point five. I will probably watch this movie I, again. I, I really thoroughly enjoyed it. This is something when. You know, if we're gonna watch a movie, we don't and like uh, we can watch. We'll probably watch this again before it gets removed from net and Netflix. It's just you know, I really like like I said, like ninety five percent of this movie, you have a good time. It's just the very, the very, the very end that I really didn't enjoy. But other than that, like I'll give it a four point five. I really liked it. I thought I thought it was a good movie. One of the best lines ever, I've heard in this movie was. Was that zombie wearing a cape? <laughs> Just the reaction of that. Like, oh, yeah, this is weird. Okay. No, no, Tig is the chopper pilot. Somewhere between leaving you and saving your ass, I turned around and came back. <laughs> <laughs> so. It was, I was fun watch. It was, it was a great watch. And, and especially if you have net, you have Netflix, it's not, it's not going to cost you anything extra to watch it. Watch the movie. You won't be disappointed until the very end. Have you seen this movie? What are your thoughts on this movie? Um, what were some of your favorite zombie dispatches or zombies dispatching people? Please let us know in the comments. Uh, if you have not yet, please do subscribe. I'd love to have you. Like the video if you did like the video. Or you could like the video if you like zombies and capes because um, that was interesting. <laughs> it, was a, it was a choice. Choices were made. You can find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews, Twitter, Instagram, and now TikTok at Reanimator. Follow me for some quality cat content. I should really put some other stuff up on there. No, no, it's fine. Just only cat stuff. You can find me on Twitch under Repeat Ray Animator or on Twitter under Repeat Groom Ray. All social media links are in the description below. And you can find our reviews in podcast form on iTunes. Thank you to the Farsighted Network. Please don't forget to check out all of their awesome creators and content as well. Is there a cat down there? There is. Oh, he's And uh, stay tuned for bloopers featuring this Dumbo. Lovable, lovable idiot. Love him so much. And oh, my God. All right. Hope everyone's having a great day and have a good day tomorrow too, I guess. That's a bad ending, but bye! bye. Welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm Rayanne, and this is the groom. No, I'm not. It, what? You're not? <laughs> imposter! Anyways, me and this imposter watched Army of the Dead on Netflix, and this is literally like the quickest... What are you... Cat? Down. Get down. We'll pick him up. Get to the chopper. We watched Army of the Dead, which is...